The unique thing of growing rice in Bali is that the Balinese will also involve some rituals or ceremonies to their rice. And most of these ceremonies are done in a little temple which is located in every single rice field that belongs to the farmers. And these shrines are normally located at the highest part of the field or closer to the place where the water entered the field for the first time. Hi guys, I'm back in the field now. So today the rice has reached the age of 20 days. So let's check together how many they have become. Because as you know, they were breed. And when it was planted, it was only four or five seeds. So let's check how many plants they have become today. Well guys, please have a look at this. If we count the number, at least there are 10 of the bigger plants and some smaller ones too, which means that in 20 days they have multiplied twice the original number they were planted. And I'm wondering how many plants it will be when harvested. In about 60 days after planting, we could see the middle part of the stem of the rice is getting bigger. And we could see the stalk with the green baby of the rice is about to come out. Unlike other plants, rice has very tiny white flowers and it is believed that the pollination process is aided by the wind well guys you might be wondering what's inside the green immature rice and you know what it's just like white watery things or close to condensed milk Hi guys, the rice is 105 days old today since it was planted. So let's check together how many plants they have finally become before it's harvested. Let's do it. This counting sample is picked randomly and finally the count says 28 single plants of rice and it means from four to five seeds that were planted they have breed and become 28 plants at least guys um, I believe you have heard about how much rice can be produced by certain size of rice field but how about how much rice can be produced by one single plant of rice like over here so so I will count this how much rice of one of this single plant can produce one single plant of rice is picked randomly and then counted first it is separated by segments and it is found that one single plant of rice contain 10 segments and then each of the segment is counted again and the number is varied from 9 to 17 and finally the total number of the kernel of rice from one single plant is 134 uh, guys the easy way to tell that the rice is ready to harvest is by looking from the color as you can see down here the color has changed um, into a bit yellow like this um, so and the colors of the leaves also change from 
from green to a little bit brown or yellow like this. So it means they are ready to be harvested. The first thing to be done in harvesting rice is cutting the stem of the rice by using sickle. And then hold the stems with both hands and thrust it to the wooden board until all kernels of rice loose from the stalk. To clean the rice from the leaves, the farmer will use the help of the wind to blow it away. And then the rice will be put in a sack and take home. The rice will also need to be dried out under the heat of the sun for at least two days before it's ready to be taken to the rice mill to be husked. There will be three outputs from the milling machine. First is the husk of the rice. And the second one is the finer form of the husk, which is locally called what. And finally, the white rice come out from the machine. And then at home, the uncooked rice is steamed and then we can eat it together with our family. So guys, that was step by steps of growing rice in Bali until we could eat it on our plate. And hopefully all of us could appreciate all the hard work that was done by our farmers. That was the end of the program of from rice at the field to the rice on the plate. And we'll love to see you again in the next videos, guys. Cheers!